It is Friday morning, shortly before 4 a.m. And we're gonna bring an update on this uh, anticipated hurricane for slow that is going to be, uh, well is currently tracking north. And it's gonna move uh, north through the Eastern Gulf and then move into the Pan Am. We're gonna talk about some of the updates that we've done uh, from the overnight crew. So first of all, let's show you what we're seeing. Uh, this is a satellite pass. See the spinning of the low there. I got Northern Haida Gwaii here and Prince of Wales there, but that's where we're seeing the uh, spinning up. And so on the south side of it, all these yellows, that is measured gale force winds. And then there are a few little red ones in there. That is storm force. So we are, uh, it is very much uh, strengthening as we head into the early morning hours. So this is just the satellite view here. Right here is where we're seeing the spinning happening. So let me put it into loop. The entire loop that you're about to see is two hours worth of uh, satellite data. So there's the loop there. We got the rain shield here, some showers, uh, still lingering around in the northern panhandle. You got Prince of Wales Island here. I got Baron off right there. I'll help you get your bearings. But right there is where the low is spinning. Currently, we have a buoy right there uh, that is measuring 40 knots gusting 50 right there. And so that is just, this low is just going to keep spinning and uh, tracking to the north. So let's wheel on over here and show you uh, what we are looking at. So this is uh, how we view the forecast. Now this is just uh, uh, what we see here. Uh, there's our time stamps here in three hour blocks. And then this is a map of what we're seeing. I tried to help you get your bearings by highlighting the inner channels. So like right here is Clarence. You got Frederick, Stevens there, Lynn Canal. So hopefully this helps you get your bearings of what you're looking at. So this is the timestamp that we're seeing right here for 4 a.m. So for the next three hours from four to seven, we're seeing uh, gales to storm force right here. When I move forward one block, uh, we're gonna see the low start to track in. So uh, right here, we're seeing uh, some small craft to gales moving in, so 20 to uh, 35 knots. Still seeing some 25s there in Stevens, and then uh, up in Northern Lynn, also seeing uh, some small craft uh, 25 knot winds. So let's move forward one block. So this would be representative of uh, 7 a.m. So there's the low, seeing those hurricane force winds there on the backside, storm force ahead of it. You start to see those winds beginning to move into the inner channels there. Keep moving another three hour block. This is uh, 10 a.m. Now we're starting to see a lot of gales uh, coming into those inner channels as this low just keeps moving on to the north. This is the big change that we did from the overnight as we slowed down the low about three to six hours and we uh, had it cross over uh, instead of um, Southern Baranoff, we now have it crossing over into the Sitka area. So that's where uh, we're expecting this low to track to the north, turn to the right, uh, just uh, Sitka or just north of it, and then move on to the north. This is something we've uh, also been discussing with uh, the Ocean Prediction Center, and they've also agreed that uh, yeah, a uh, landfall near Sitka is uh, what we're thinking. So that's what the big picture here. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can get some of the details to try to help you plan uh, your day. So now we're looking at just the wind gusts. And so, yeah, we are seeing those 50 knot winds in the inner channels. As far as land areas, um, Ketchikan, Metlakatla can be seeing those high winds. We do have a high wind, uh, high wind warning out. There we go. This is uh, about noon. That's when we can start to see those wind speeds getting up to near high wind warning uh, levels. Same with Prince of Wales Island. Maybe the far edges could see, but the bulk of the island here will start to see those high wind thresholds, 60 mile an hour uh, around noon or so today, and then lasting into the afternoon. Let's zoom out, move up a little bit farther to the north. Let's talk about Petersburg and Wrangell. Also expected to see some of those higher winds. There we are, about noon. That's when we can see those wind gusts in that area getting a little stronger, uh, pushing that 60 mile an hour mark, and then they'll quickly uh, fade out later in the afternoon. Keep moving north. Uh, Sitka is going to be kind of, we'll be very, very much paying close attention to what goes on in Sitka because not only is there the concern of just the winds, but also the sharp shift 
in the wind speeds as well. That's going to be something we'll be uh, keep needing to watch very closely. So let's zoom in and I'll show you here. So now there's Sitka. We'll switch over to the wind forecast. So this is going to be the morning hours. Wind's coming uh, from the east. And then as the low gets closer, now we're starting to see there's the, the band of the heaviest wind, strongest winds coming in. Still seeing that easterly wind. Uh, could be pushing wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. That's why we have that high wind warning. But then as the low tracks inland, the winds are going to swing to the south or southwest. Still very strong with those strong wind gusts. And so when that wind shift happens, uh, that's something we'll be paying very closely attention to. Uh, and those wind gusts, the strong winds, that sharp wind, wind shift, that uh, can cause problems. And uh, you know, we just saw earlier this week in Elfin Cove where that sharp change in wind can cause some issues. So let's move farther to the north on the front side of the low, the Icy Strait Corridor. So from Elfin Cove, Pelican, Huna, Gustavus, and Juno. Uh, because we'll be on the uh, northern side of it, mostly expecting easterly winds uh, coming in. But once we get to the afternoon, that's when we can start to see some of those wind gusts. Let me switch over to wind gust. So there we go. So this is 10 a.m. Starting to see some stronger winds here in the Elfin Cove to Huna area. Uh, starting to pick, see them pick up in Gustavus and Juno. But once we fast forward to around the lunch hour noon, that's when we could see wind gusts, uh, you know, 40 to 50 miles per hour in this region uh, coming you know, out of the east. Still seeing those wind gusts into the early afternoon. And then late in the afternoon, that's when they start to, uh, to go downhill or start to weaken a little bit. Uh, one thing of note with the Icy Strait area, um, at least from the overnight, we had some concern for gusts to 60 miles per hour in that area, but there just wasn't enough data to push us over the edge to issue a high wind warning. Uh, and so if you're in the icy straight area, we have a, a strong wind headlined out for those wind gusts of 40 to, to 50, maybe 55 miles per hour. Uh, but if we start seeing those gusts pick up faster or stronger than what we initially thought, we may need to bump that up to a high wind warning. So if you're in that area, just something to, to keep a focus on is at least from yesterday into the overnight, there just wasn't enough evidence in the model data to go full high wind warning for those of you along the icy straight corridor. But it's something we'll be very closely paying attention to. And so that's the winds. It's not the only big concern. We also have the wave heights, which we're already starting to see uh, wave heights uh, around the low, that one buoy, uh, that one there in this area. We're starting to see those wave heights getting to about 15 feet. And so going forward, as that low tracks to the north, there we're starting to see these white colors here. This is 35 to 40 foot seas moving into these, uh, these uh, inner channels there on the, the south side of the low. And that's going to last through the day. And then as we go into tonight, those seas uh, calm down a little bit. So 30 to 40 foot seas uh, tracking on the south side of the, this low. Uh, so a lot, lots to go on. Stay plugged into the forecast as we'll be sending out updates throughout the day on the forecast and of course on our social media channels as well. Uh, stay plugged in. This is just a quick moving thing though. Once we get through today, uh, this moves on and going to the after the um, weekend, still some lingering low out in the, the, the Gulf, uh, but nothing quite like we're gonna see today. So it's a big weather day. Stay plugged into the forecast, weather.gov. Uh, for the latest, uh, I'm meteorologist Grant Smith uh, here with a couple of leads and signing off. Uh, stay plugged in. We will uh, keep you updated as we go throughout the day.